What's going on, guys? Today's video is regarding UFC Fight Night 192. Uh, this fighter, Armin, I don't want to butcher the guy's name, but it's like Sarukyan versus Christos Giagos. And um, the fight obviously concluded. Armin won. And I'm reading this stuff here. And I haven't really tracked the UFC like that, but I do want to show some people who are new here. Numerology and this code of letters and numbers known as Gamatria. So if you've never seen a video of mine, Gamatria is an ancient practice. It's a Jewish practice, numerology. Um, even, you know, the Greeks, the Sumerians... They all had a form of gamatria. <clears throat> so our English alphabet, you know, 26 letters, 26 numbers, right? Okay. Um, so that's just like a quick little brief breakdown of gamatria. It's not, you know, you're not going to understand everything if you're new here. And, you know, you're not going to really get it right away until I show the stuff on the screen. But I'm looking at this now in hindsight. And I just got done doing my screenshots. And I see that it says right here, uh, faces Christo Giagos at UFC Fight Night 192, also known as UFC Vegas 37. Now, that's the first number I want you to keep in your mind, 37. I'm going to come back to that at the end of the video. So 37, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it just to prove a point. So what I did was, I started looking at the numerology behind it all. I'm going to go into my screenshots now. <clears throat> and the first thing I did was I looked at the fight and I seen Armin won. I looked at his record. So obviously he went into the fight 15 and 2. Increasing to 16 and 2. I'm going to explain to you why 162 is interesting and how I got on the right side of the screen circled 83. So 83 is a prime number. It's the 23rd prime number. So to make sense of all this stuff, you have to kind of like look at the um, fighter's birthdays and measure from the birthdays to the day of the fight. So in this instance, what I did here was I took the winner and I said, okay, he's born October 11th. I measured from October 11th, which hasn't come yet, so it's backwards on the screen. So the right side of the screen is the right date for the fight. I should have put it on the left side, but whatever. If you can't cipher through that, then you don't belong here. But the point is, is that measuring from yesterday to the winner's fight, I mean the winner's birthday, is a span of 23 days. And again, 83 is the 23rd prime number. And as you can see here, the loser picked up his third loss, becoming 8 and 3. So the winner, you know, it's 23 days before the winner's birthday. 83 is the 23rd prime. And it just so happens that he picks up his third loss, becoming 8 and 3. So that's the first coincidence I want people to... Sort of just like, you know, process and understand. If you think this stuff's coincidental, here's another thing. When you spell out the word 162, you get 223. That's also a prime number. 223 is the 48th prime number. And the fight did take place on a 48-date numerology. Now, this may be a coincidence. Maybe all of it's coincidence. I don't think it is. But this particular thing I just showed... This could be a coincidence, but I'll tell you what's not a coincidence. So he picks up his hundred and, uh, not his hundred and sixty. <laughs> he picks up his 16th win last night, Armin, making him 16 and two. So that's why I decided to spell that out on the screen and just see if there was anything interesting there. But what it gets interesting here. So Matthew, right? His birthday is June 11th. So I go to the calculator, I punch in June 11th. It just so happens that Matthew's birthday falls on the 162nd day of the year. Okay. It's also 
a span of 99 days. So from June 11th, his birthday, the loser's birthday, to yesterday's fight was a span of 99 days. And that's important because, you know, in Gamatria, Matthew equals 99. Let me show you. Let me just show you. Matthew equals 99. I don't want to get too far ahead, but... Here in the screenshot, Armin equals 88, and the phrase 162 sums to 88. How perfect, right? Hmm. Now, again, this is all hindsight stuff, but this is how you would probably decode the game or the fight if you're one of those types of people who is interested in this work and want to try to give it a whirl yourself. I'm still trying to figure things out, so don't, you know, don't, um... Don't take my advice 100%, but this is kind of how it works. I mean, I've been tracking it for three years now, so. Um, but another good point here. So the winner's birthday, I'm going to switch to the winner's birthday now. So on the screen now, you got the winner's birthday. Um, Measuring from, you know, his birthday to yesterday is a span of three weeks, two days. And would you believe that there's a life lesson number of 32 for September 18th? I believe that's what we call it, the life lesson number. The second set of numbers down. So you got the 32. And then this is the interesting part right here. You know, the loser's birthday, you know, uh... I don't know his name. I, I, like I said, I don't follow sports like that. Matt, I already forgot his name. I'm burnt. Well, anyways, Matt. So measuring from Matt's birthday to yesterday's fight was a span of 99 days. You got the 99, which I already made the point of that. And then his name, Matthew, also sums to 27. So 9 plus 18 is 27. You got uh, his last name that sums to 38. And that's interesting because when you include the end date, I guess it would be three months, eight days. I think it, it converts to like something else. But there's the 37 I was telling you about earlier, how it was, uh, you know, Vegas 37. So let me correct myself. I don't think when you include the end dates, it doesn't read it as, oh, it does. Yeah, three months, eight days. So either way it works, you know. Three months, eight days, his last name equals, you know, 38. You know, when you don't include the end date, it's three months, seven days. You know, and they're fighting at UFC <laughs> Vegas 37. Again, you know, like the people who come on here and try to troll and leave these silly comments and, you know... I I don't I don't know if it's just like you're paid to do that or I mean, you know, I, I really don't I don't really get it. But uh, I, I guess I guess, you know, like I can be a party pooper, too. Like, I guess the reason why they censor channels like this is because it's like, oh, you're ruining it for everybody. You're a party pooper. It's like but like at what age did you realize wrestling was fake? Was it 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? I mean, everyone kind of knew nobody was getting smashed in the head with a baseball bat with barbed wire. You know what I'm saying? So, the thing is, is this type of knowledge, when you apply it in this way, you can make money. Um, I think that's what they're more afraid of, is like everyone working together and trying to break the code for real. Um, because it's already like got, uh, you know, cracks in the wall. You know what I mean? Like the walls already got cracks. So a lot of people, again, they don't believe Gematria because of the whole QAnon PSYOP. And, you know, obviously when I come on here, you know, when I first started, I got excited. I didn't know what the fuck was what. I seen a couple of videos from a few other channels. They were using, uh, well, Zach was using these four. And I would watch Derek, and he was using a few other ones here, you know, English Extended. They do, they, they do matter. But my first few videos, I just wanted to see what was what. And I would, you know, select all this stuff and, you know, 
I'd experiment and say, oh, that was interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know, but I've kind of obviously, as you can tell if you follow this channel, I've um, drifted far, far away from that. So I only use four ciphers and I do understand some people's frustration with this type of stuff. Like, oh, you can't make anything equal anything. Well, no, you can't. Um, it's a system. You know, all it is is the alphabet forwards and backwards. So backwards is Z is one all the way to A is 26. And then the same two things, forwards and backwards with numerology. So green is forwards and backwards. Blue is reduction, numerology. So, again, you know, what are the odds that the stuff uh, all, you know, syncs up? Is it is it all, all organic? Or, uh, I mean, you know, some stuff is organic, but uh, a majority of what I just showed you, I'm pretty sure there is people out there with, uh, you know, intentions that... Uh, a bad, obviously, because, you know, they set up these games to rob people, you know, so that's Vegas for you. <laughs> you got to think about it. Who would build a, a desert in uh, a casino in the desert? You know, think about that. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope this presentation kind of like, you know, gets the gears going. Um, I'm not here to push my truths on anybody. I don't want people to watch these videos and leave these videos thinking they have to believe what I'm saying because you don't and I don't I don't give a fuck if you do or don't just think about that though you know like the guy's born on the 162nd day of the year and the loser and the winner picks up his 16th win making him 16 and 2 so I mean like it's little things like that that get you get the juices going Again, a lot of this stuff is overwhelming. And um, <clears throat> you got to be mentally strong for this type of stuff. I mean, again, they're fucking with people. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is, is just keep sharing the work. I mean, you know, that's, that's the most people can do right now is share the work. And, you know, stop uh, being afraid to share the work. Like, Fuck the likes on Facebook. Fuck all that shit. Don't do it for the hearts on Instagram. You know, again, share the work because it's, you know, it's a lot. It's logic. It's a logical thing to look at a mathematical system and say, hey, okay, this isn't hard. It's not like we're doing algebra here. It's not like we're saying, well, you know, A divided by, you know, the square root of Z. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's it's elementary mathematics it's addition so i i don't want to talk down on nobody but it is frustrating like when people don't get this shit like because i mean do we really just live in a fucking society of retards i mean i think i mean you know after doing this stuff for three years you know it is it's it's kind of frustrating